s all right we should be live um, I think okay so we should be live but you guys know me we were gonna wait for a few few more seconds maybe about 20 or 30 seconds before um, I actually start with the exercise proper so for those of you who are first timers um, to my videos I mean if you guys don't already know who I am my name is Fendi I'm a physiotherapist here at the Singapore Heart Foundation and today we will be doing fitness Friday with Fendi okay all right so for today's exercise it's gonna be a little bit different I guess you could say from my normal videos all right so the first thing the difference is that we will not be doing any warm-up and cool down because the interesting part about this exercise routine as you can see I don't know if you guys can see it on the screen if you guys are watching it from the mo mobile phones maybe you guys won't be able to see but if you are watching on the screen it may be a bit too pixelated to be seen anyway regardless okay what we'll be doing is something called the circuit workout but it's a little different than the normal circuit workout that we've been doing so for today's circuit workout I have a timer next to me what we'll be doing is um, for the first video I'll be going through the exercises from number one to number eight I think yeah number one to number eight and then during the workout itself we won't be stopping. so we're going one minute workout one minute rest one minute workout one minute rest there'll be a total of 16 minutes because 8 times 16 quick math all right so um yeah so i won't be doing any warm-up or any cool down but i will still need to mention my precautions okay so the precautions are if you're not feeling well if you don't feel well, if you have some back pain knee pain shoulder pains um you know or just generally unwell okay please do not attempt to join me in this exercise video wait till when you're well secondly if you've had your vaccination okay in the past seven days please 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 do not take part in this um, exercise video as well okay so that being said let me think if there needs to be any other precautions okay um, stand by a towel or a water bottle okay um, before we actually start the exercise video itself as you can see I have eight exercises here these eight exercises are actually included in some of my warm-up routines okay now you might be wondering why are we doing a warm-up exercise um, in a workout because some of you guys have told me that the some of my exercises are a little bit too difficult while on the other hand I know some of the HWP clients that have told me that the exercises are a little bit too easy so what I'm gonna do for you today is that I'm gonna teach you a routine from your head to your toes okay head shoulders knees and toes okay so what this does is it's actually a warm-up routine okay and what this does is for some of you who find my exercises uh, a little bit too easy this will be a warm-up routine because we're not going to be using body weights we'll be using some movements you know to do warm-ups okay but on the other hand if you want to pump up the intensity what you can do is for certain movements you can carry dumbbells carry backpacks okay and you have seen me do these exercises in other of the Singapore Heart Foundation exercise videos you know the backpack workout you know the side to side bends with the dumbbells and all these kind of things bicep curls and shoulder press okay these can all be done with dumbbells weight water bottles you know um, bottles where you fill that up with pee Joanna has done that video as well okay so this can be both an exercise and a warm-up routine it depends on what you want to do what do you want to use it as so that's the best part about this um, routine itself so I'll be going through the exercises first don't join me yet learn the movements first and then when we are ready to do the exercise proper we'll go full-on 16 minutes I'll have a timer next to me you can join me in the one minute workout one minute rest one minute workout one minute for the whole eight exercises and then we'll close off um, the exercise itself okay so the first one is as you can see we're exercising the neck okay we're warming up the neck by doing some head bends okay what are head bends okay so basically you'll be standing up straight okay feet shoulder width apart 
you can stand with your hands by, by your side, okay, and you'll just be going side to side, okay. Now, the speed that you have to do this has to be controlled because if you do it too fast, not only are you going to get dizzy, really dizzy, I've done it before, okay, but it's going to be a bit too strainful for your neck, okay. So, what you want to do is do side center, side center. Now, you do realize we're not going forward and back, okay. What I want to add on as well, if you find the side to side movement a little bit too strenuous on your neck, you can even do look over your right shoulder, look over your left shoulder, okay? And that's a very good movement, not only to loosen up your joints, as well as stretch your neck muscles and warm them up before your next warm up exercise, okay? So that's head bends, which is your side to side, okay? Or left to right, okay? For the sake of the video, I will be doing both. I'll be doing 30 seconds of side to side, 30 seconds of um, looking left, looking right, okay? So next one is you exercise your trapezius muscle, which is your upper trapezius muscles. Okay, that's the muscles that are connecting your neck to your shoulder blade, okay? And you'll be doing some shoulder rolls, okay? So again, if you're holding weights, right, and you do this, this is actually quite strenuous and quite intense for you. So what I want you to do is you want to go 30 seconds forward, okay? And you want to do 30 seconds back. Arms wise, it doesn't really matter where you want to hold. You want to hold it on your waist, that's fine as well. And you'll just do shoulder rolls, okay? A variation of this is to hold your shoulders here and do it this way. But for the sake of the video, you can do it this way and reverse, okay? How big of a you do doesn't really matter. As long as you're moving the joint, that's fine. Now that's that, okay? The next exercise, very common exercise you've seen me do step curl and shoulder press, we're going to combine these two exercises whereby we're going to do this and this, down, down. Now you realize it's four count, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And once again, if you're holding dumbbells, okay, the heavier the weight, the harder it is going to be because you're going to be lifting up those weights and punching up to do your press with that dumbbell itself. Okay, so that's bicep curls and shoulder press, where you'll be, you'll be working the biceps and the deltoid muscles. Now, for your core stability muscles, okay, we're going to work on the obliques a little bit. Again, feet shoulder width apart, side to side bends, okay, variation where you want to hold your hands. If you're doing this for warm-ups, you can hold it by your waist and go bend, center, bend, center. Again, same with the head bends, you don't want to do it too fast. Okay, you don't want to do it side to side too fast, okay? It might actually hurt your back, okay? If you want to do this as an exercise, again, dumbbells, okay? Two hands, bring one dumbbell down to right above your knees, come back up, center, set the dumbbell down to the other side of your knee, and center. Again, and these are going to work your obliques and it's part of your core stability muscles, okay? So hands here or hands here doesn't matter, all right? And that's your side to side Bends, and that's working the core. Hip flexors, okay. High knee lifts, you've seen me do it before, okay, whereby you're doing high knee lifts about to about 90 degrees, about here, okay, and you're just going, okay. These are working the hip flexor muscles at the front of your hip, okay, whereby we're going to warm that up, okay. If you want this as a form of exercise, you can do it fast, okay, whereby you can do up, 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 okay, but for the sake of the warm up, just do it slow. Tap, 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 okay, the slower you go, it doesn't really matter just as long as you warm up those muscles if you're doing it for warm up. If you want to use it as a, as a workout, you can go a lot faster as well. Okay, and that works the hip flexors for your high knee lifts. Next up are your gluteal muscles, which are the posterior hip muscles. Okay, and you'll be doing squats. Same thing, arms forward, okay, sit back into a chair, just go to about halfway, you don't have to go to parallel, and back up. Okay, so this side. Halfway and back up, okay? Don't go too far forward. Don't lift up your heels, okay? You want to make sure your pressure is down into your heels as opposed to your toes, okay? Same thing, if you were to do this as an exercise, watch my backpack video, but you can hold the backpack or you can hold a dumbbell in the middle and do your goblet squats this way, okay? That adds a bit more load to the exercise itself as well. And that's the squat exercise. Now, last two, we're, we're going to do lunges. Again, lunges, you want to slightly part, back leg straight, 
Okay, as you start, as you go down, bring your back knee down into the ground. Okay, and up. Again, you're not letting the knee touch the ground. That's a bit too much. You want to go down and up. Okay, for the purpose of this video, again, I'm going to do 30 seconds on one leg and 30 seconds on the other leg. Hopefully, I get it 30 30. All right, or alternatively, you can do a dynamic lunge whereby you do forwards and up, forwards and up. For the sake of the video, I'm just going to show you lunges statically. Okay, down and up, down and up. Okay, and like I said, if you want to use this as an exercise, you can hold two dumbbells or even carry a backpack and you can do your dynamic kind of just like moving lunges with the weights itself okay and that's how you do the workout okay for the quadricep muscles because you're working most of the quadricep muscles when you're doing lunge exercise last but not least heel raises okay another form of a warm-up okay you're just gonna be lifting up your heels okay and these are to warm up the calf muscles okay my precaution for this is that if you know your balance and stability is not that good Hold on to something stable for balance as you do this exercise, okay? Hold on, okay? Because you are going to be challenging your balance as you go up onto the balls of your feet, okay? As you go up onto the balls of your feet and lower it down, all right? Again, if you want to make this an exercise, dumbbells are your best friend, or carry a backpack, pop some heavy things into the backpack and do your calf raises. Okay, back when I was in secondary school while waiting for the bus, I kept doing this. Couldn't sit still, okay? So that's what you do if you want to do your heel raises as your exercise. Now, we have gone through every single one of this exercise, okay? So what, are we, what we're going to do right now is we're going to go one minute workout, one minute rest, okay? I have my timer with me. We're going to start from head, shoulders, knees, and toes. So we're going to start from the top all the way down to the bottom, okay? Which is our calf, okay? So let's start from the head bends all the way down. I won't be again. I won't be showing the example anymore. Okay. If you need, if you're not confident with doing this exercise, don't attempt it. If you forgot how to do it or what. Okay. Watch how I do it and then join me maybe for the last 30 seconds of it. Right, don't worry if you can't do it now. This video you can rewatch it on Facebook and on the YouTube channel. All right. So when we're ready, we'll start with the head bends. I said again, we're going to do side to side, and then the next 30 seconds I'm going to do um, looking to the left and looking to the right. Okay, so we're going to start in three, two, one, let's go. Okay, just stretching the head side to side, slowly, not too fast. Even if it's a warm up or an exercise, there's no weight involved. Okay, I can't tell if it's 30 seconds or not. Okay, it's already more than 30 seconds. I'm going to change to my side to side now. Okay, we've got about 10 seconds left. Okay, and we'll rest for one full minute. Well done, that was the first exercise in the circuit training workout. So again, since we have about 50 seconds of rest, I'm going to show you a quick recap. We're doing shoulder rolls, where by 30 seconds, we're going to go forwards. All right, 30 seconds, we're going to go backwards. Now, if you need to stretch your muscles in between each of these exercises, it's fine as well. All right, use this time as a rest interval before the next exercise proper. Okay, because we're, go, go, we're gonna go full on 16 minutes, okay, which is half of it, which is the workout, half of it is the rest. So don't worry if you need to extend your rest, if it's too difficult, or if you find it too easy, you know, if any one minute is too easy. All right, you can do it for one and a half, as long as you're confident doing the exercises proper itself. Okay, we've got about 10 more seconds. Remember, let's get ready for shoulder rolls. I'm gonna do it with my hands here. You can do the dumbbells if you want to. All right. So we're going to start in three, two, one. Okay, here we go. Forward shoulder rolls. Okay, you should feel the 
bottom part of your neck or the upper part of your back kind of just working. Okay, you've got 10 seconds till the swap. And we'll reverse in two, one, let's reverse. This is something I like to do first thing in the morning as well when you wake up. It's good to just roll your shoulders, loosen up your joints, you know. Okay, we've got about 10 seconds left. Okay, and that's it. I'm going to rest for one full minute again. Okay. The next one, we're going to do biceps and deltoids again. So that's the bicep curl and shoulder press. Grab your dumbbells if you need them, if you're going to use this as a workout. Okay, if not, you know, you can start to stretch your shoulders. Okay, that was a good workout for my upper traps muscles. All right, next one will be the bicep curl and shoulder press. So again, as with any circuit training workout, okay, whether it be done by Hazik, me, the TAs, or any other physio, they always say, if you want to make it more difficult, shorten your rest interval, lengthen your exercise interval. If you want it to be slightly more easier, um, slightly easier, you can shorten your exercise duration and lengthen your rest interval. Okay, while we wait, we have about 10 seconds, okay. Those of you who are using dumbbells and shoulder press, uh, dumbbells for your bicycle and shoulder press, let's get ready. Grab them. Three, two, one. Let's go. Okay. Take your time. Don't rush. I'll change my angle at 30 seconds. In case you, you all want to see how my back looks like. Okay. The most important thing is not to extend your back too much. Okay, so keep your core nice and tight. Got about less than 10 seconds left. Five seconds. Okay, and let's rest for one full minute. And that was a bicep curl and shoulder press. Next will be your side to side bends. Okay, same thing for those of you who are using the dumbbell, keep holding the dumbbells. Because what you can do is hold it by the side and do your side to side bends that way. Okay, for me, during this video, I will hold my hands on my waist, keep myself nice and stable, and I'm just going to go side, center, side, center. Just remember not to go all the way out of your base for support because you might lose your balance that way. Just to the point where you feel a good stretch at the side and come back up, okay? Feel the stretch and come back up. Okay, we've got about 50 seconds left. Okay, always have a good stretch in between before you go on to your next exercise. We're going to start in about five seconds. And let's go. Okay, so side, side, center, side, center, side, center. Once again, if you find that this is a bit too easy, either increase the speed or you can, you know, grab your dumbbells as you do the workout. Okay, we've got about 30 seconds left. Okay, you should feel some of the slight muscle kind of working at the sides. That's your oblique muscles. Okay, it's part of your core muscles as well. Okay, your core is a bunch of muscles in your trunk region that's responsible for keeping your body upright, straight, and looking great. Got about three seconds. 
Okay, well done. All right, and that was the full minute. All right, we're going to rest for another one minute. We've done four, halfway there. Next one is the high knee lifts, okay? So you're going to do the high knee lifts. Cat fur everywhere. Okay, high knee lifts again. If you want it to be slightly more difficult, okay, you're going to do it a lot faster or higher even, okay? But not too high to, the, to lean back. Right, you don't want to lean back too far. We've got about 30 seconds, okay? I'm just going to quickly stretch my hip flexor for a bit. Okay, always use the rest intervals. You just do a quick stretch in between if you're going to do this, you know, and you, you feel some getting, getting tight, okay? So always just use some time to just move your body a bit. Okay, we've got about 10 seconds left. Okay, we're going to do high knees for a full minute. All right, I'm going to do 30 seconds facing the front, 30 seconds facing about 45 degrees. And an offset angle. All right, we're going to start in three, two, one. Okay, let's go. Just to about 45 degrees, oh sorry, to about 90 degrees. If you want to do it slightly lower, it's fine as well. Go to where the level that is comfortable for you. Okay, challenge yourself a little bit, but go to where you're comfortable. Not too high, not too low. <coughs> Okay, we have about 30 seconds. I'm going to change to my offside angle. I'm going to face this way. Okay, you should feel the muscle at the front of your hip kind of just working, feeling that muscle start to tighten, get a bit tired. We've got 10 seconds left. And two, and one, and stop. Okay, we're going to rest for another one minute. Okay, that was a really good workout for the hip flex. Okay. So if you want it to be slightly more difficult, once again, just go a bit faster, go a bit higher, and that exercise is going to really, really work out those hip muscles. All right. Next up, we have squats. Okay, so same thing with squats, right? Again, just some precautions not to lean too far onto your toes, not to Michael Jackson it, you know, okay? Always sit back onto your heels and don't go too low because once you go too low, you get up. Sometimes I can't get up. So, right, so go low and up. All right, halfway there and up. Make sure you feel it in your posterior hip muscles, okay, which are your gluteal muscles actually. Okay, so once we're ready, we're going to do our squats in about 10 seconds. Okay, we're going to start in five. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Okay. I like to keep my hands forward for balance as well. Okay, just sitting far enough so that I can feel my gluteal muscles tighten up as I push through my heels. The most important part is pushing down through your heels and not through your toes or the balls of your feet. Right? I'm going to turn to about 45 degrees to show you another angle. Got about 20 seconds left. Once again, if you want to make this more difficult, you can use a backpack or you know, hold the weight in front of you like a goblet squat, okay? And these videos are on the Facebook and YouTube page. And we're done. Okay, that was good. So once again, just a reminder, if you want to make those, this uh, squat exercise a little bit more difficult, you can do a backpack, all right? Or you can hold a dumbbell in front of you to do a goblet squat, okay? I prefer the backpack method, all right? Next up, we have lunges. Again, if you want to make it a little bit more difficult, some dumbbells. If not, just do it statically like what I'm going to be showing you. I'm going to swap my legs at 30 seconds. But if you want to be, again, a workout slightly more difficult, you can go on and go, you know, swap. Swap legs after every turn, after every lunge. Okay? But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to be showing you 30 seconds on one leg, 30 seconds on the other leg in static position. And if you have the weight, the heavier the weight of the dumbbell that you're holding, the more difficult it's going to be. 
So let's get ready. We're going to start in about five seconds. I'm going to do an offset angle from the beginning. And let's go. So I'm starting on my right leg first. Same thing. You're going to from your heel of the front leg. Okay. My knee is not touching the ground, but I'm leading and my knee is going to drop. And then pushing from the front foot heel. Okay, the heel of the front foot. All right, we've got about five seconds to my legs. And all right, let's change to my left leg. Okay, we are also naturally kind of one-sided, so one leg is always going to be weaker than the other leg. Okay, so don't worry if you find one side more difficult than the other. That's natural. Okay, fun fact. On Friday, I'm actually left-handed, but that's the only thing left about me. I do everything else with my right. Okay, that's it. And we're going to rest for one full minute. We have our last exercise, okay? That will be the heel raises, okay? So once again, if you want to do this as a workout, you can grab some dumbbells, heavy ones, or a backpack, and do it like that, okay? So that's your exercise. I want to use this as a warm-up. You know, just warm up the calf muscles, okay? Down and up. So, before we have about 30 seconds, okay? At the end of this video, while I'm doing my closing, you can tell me which of these exercises are your, well, is your favorite, okay? You can tell me all of them. Fendi, I love all of them, okay? Because I love giving you guys exercises, all right? So, we have about another 10 seconds. So again, we have the hip bends, shoulder press, bicep curl, shoulder press, shoulder roll, sorry. And five more seconds, okay, to the heel raises, our last exercise for this Friday, okay? And let's go. Okay, again, if you need to hold on to something for balance, please do. All right, something stable, nice and stable, that you can hold on to if you were to lose your balance. All right, and if your balance and stability is not not great, please don't attempt this exercise. Okay, you can do seated heel raises as well. Okay, I'll just rotate myself at about thirty seconds. We've got about twenty seconds. Okay, 10 seconds. All right, and that's it. Awesome, okay, that was a 15 minute workout, okay? Going from our head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, okay? So, I hope you guys enjoyed this workout. Once again, tell me what's your favorite part of your body or your favorite, uh, if let's say you find um, another exercise to warm up your core, include that in the chat and tell me why is it your favorite, you know? Is it, you know, some people for their hip flexors, they prefer to do leg swings, that kind of thing. You know, I know a lot of runners, okay, or a lot of um, trekkers, you know, those who go to the Bukit Bato, um, Bukit Bato? Bukit Tima Nature Reserve, the trek, or you know, as well as Bukit Gomba, actually, you know, the Siao Kuil in the, the little walking trail. I think they've just really opened a new uh, trail, so I think that's what to look out for. They actually do like to do a lot of swings, okay, especially for the, you know, the shoulders and everything. They like to do their shoulder swings, okay. Or even tell me some people would like to do their tapping as the warm-up, okay. That's fine as well. Tell me what's your favorite. Let me know in the comments section below. Whichever, okay? Do tell me which is your favorite and if there's anything that I've missed out or any body part, okay, let's say, you know, knees or whatever, just let me know. We'll try to include it in our next video as well. It was, um, so it's a good opportunity for me to actually um, let everyone know that, you know, exercise some of the videos that you see on our Facebook channel or our YouTube channel will be kind of difficult and on the other hand, it may be kind of easy. All right, but the best part is that you can use this 
um, exercise videos and tweak it to your own ability so that you know it's you're you're able to do it at your level okay so that's the best part of the exercise you can always change it manipulate it a little bit so that you can actually perform these exercises and enjoy it because the most important part about exercising is that you have to enjoy it all right i know that may be difficult or that that may be hard to hear but as long as you're working out you're exercising you're being physically active and you're not being sedentary that's really a big thumbs up okay to your health and obviously that's chasing you away from heart disease all right so i hope everyone enjoyed the exercises that we did today this is, was a good short eight eight kind of eight exercise 15 minute workout okay but before you go you guys know me okay rehydrate yourself stretch the muscles that you feel kind of a bit sore there's no harm just stretching out the muscles that you covered again so if you want to do some head stretches okay if you want to do some shoulder stretches all right core so you can do your side stretch you know these are exercises that i've done in almost 90 percent of my videos all right so you can do those warm-ups um, all those stretches for your cool down as well don't forget to rehydrate okay and if there's any point of time you don't feel well, like, you know, the next couple of hours you feel a bit nauseous and kind of thing, go straight to the doctor, let them know, you know, you did an exercise and you don't feel too good, okay? Um, also, make sure to rest a day in between exercise days, you know, especially if you're doing strength training. I would consider this strength training because you are using dumbbells. For those of you who are using dumbbells, have a day of rest, you know, tomorrow's Saturday. Take a break, exercise again on Sunday, all right? I look forward to seeing everybody again for Fitness Friday with, okay? And yeah, I think that's about it. Thank you guys so much for coming down to the live stream. Those of you who are here, I really appreciate it. And those of you who are new, thank you so much for coming down. And with that being said, my name is Fendi. I'm the physiotherapist here at the Singapore Heart Foundation. And I wish everybody and their family, their friends, a fantastic weekend ahead. Take care, stay safe. Bye-bye.